Also this hour, protesters have returned to the streets of Israel after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected a compromise plan announced by the President and remained defined on pushing through the controversial judicial reforms. Economists, legal experts and former security chiefs have warned the proposed judicial overhaul will wreak havoc on the economy and isolate Israel internationally. Protesters held placards dubbing the reforms as the end of democracy. According to Israeli media, tens of thousands of Israelis protested across the country. Demonstrators also gathered in Jerusalem and in the northern city of Haifa. The judicial overhaul would, among other things, allow lawmakers to scrap Supreme Court rulings with a simple majority vote. Some opposition leaders joined a later rally in central Tel Aviv. Since Netanyahu's government announced the reforms in January, massive demonstrations have regularly taken place across Israel. The government says the proposed reforms are necessary to correct a power imbalance between elected representatives and Israel's top court. Unveiling alternative changes to the judiciary this week, Israel's president say the country is at a turning point and civil war is a red line. Netanyahu rejected the proposal, but leaders of opposition parties said in a joint news conference on Thursday that they supported Herzog's plan. מפני שמה שמונח מנגד, מה שמובילים לוין ורוטמן, הוא סוף הרעיון של מדינה יהודית ודמוקרטית. The White House urged Israeli leaders to find a compromise. The U.S. National Security Council praised the Israeli president's efforts to find an alternative plan to the controversial reforms. We strongly urge all Israeli leaders to find uh, a compromise. Um, uh, we support... Uh, President Herzog's ongoing effort to seek a solution um, that is consistent with those same democratic principles. Um, now, it's again not for us to comment, and we won't, on the details of any specific proposal. Uh, but again, we strongly urge all Israeli leaders to find a compromise as soon as possible. In Berlin, the German Chancellor urged Israel to preserve its status as a liberal democracy. Speaking alongside Netanyahu, Scholz said he hoped a compromise on the reforms, as suggested by Israel's president, was not off the table. By robustly defending the plans, Netanyahu hinted that in the absence of agreement to the opposition, he might unilaterally review the reforms. Unser Wunsch ist, dass unser Wertepartner Israel eine liberale Demokratie bleibt. Übrigens, um sich dazu zu bekennen, ist es auch wichtig, das Wort auszusprechen. Und das haben wir gehört und das finde ich sehr wichtig. You want to maintain the balance between the branches of government, but not to tilt the balance by correcting the imbalance, not to turn it to an imbalance on the other side. These are real issues. I don't deny it. I think if we don't have a partner, we'll try to come up with the best solution. Uh, but the answer to your question is, I think we need as broad a consensus as we can. I regret the fact that the opposition refused to discuss it for even one moment. Lacking that, we'll try to do, give the best solution that we can. The protesters say the future of Israeli democracy is at stake if the government succeeds in pushing through the plans. Apart from weakening the judiciary, protesters say the plans will undermine the rights of minorities and open the doors to more corruption. Opponents of the package have also accused Netanyahu of trying to use the reforms to quash possible judgments against him. The Israeli Prime Minister is on trial for corruption, which he denies. Netanyahu has dismissed the anti-judicial reform protests. The government sees it as a refusal by leftist opponents to accept the results of last November's election. We All is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.